Hi everyone, welcome back to our devotion time. So this devotion is the one from Joyce Meyer out of the Psalms and the Psalm uh, 119 and it's from a couple days ago on the 18th. On the 18th in our devotion book that we usually use, we had talked about the secrets of God and about um, learning more and more and knowing him better and this really, to me, went with what we read that same day. So I wanted us to go ahead and reiterate a little bit <clears throat> on the study of God's Word and why it's so valuable and important for us to utilize His Word to learn who He is and to seek out those mysteries about our God. I just wanted it to be a reiteration of of what we read that day. So it's called um, The Understanding of God's Word Unfolds out of Psalm 119, verse 130. The unfolding of your glorious words give light. Their unfolding gives understanding to the simple or the childlike. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you that, Lord, you desire for us to know you. You desire for us to come into a close and intimate relationship with you. And we do that through the study and the the reading of your word. We do that through meditating on your word. We do that through seeking after you in your word. And we praise you and thank you for it today that you've given us this love letter that we can know you better. Lord, we pray today that this would reiterate and just push that information, that knowledge of you deeper and deeper into our hearts of the understanding of why we should read your word. I praise you and thank you that you would give me the words to speak today. In Jesus' name, amen. God's word contains tremendous treasures, truths that will change our lives, encouragement to follow God's will, to a life of purpose and blessings and powerful life-giving secrets that God wants to reveal to us. These are made known to those who ponder, study, think about, practice mentally, and meditate on the scripture. Today's scripture teaches us that understanding of God's word is a process of unfolding. There is no end to what God can show us from just one particular biblical phrase or one verse of scripture. We can study a scripture one time and see one nugget of truth in it. Then when we study it again, we see something about it that we did not even notice previously. Studying God's word is like looking at a diamond. Every time we look at it, we see a new facet. The Lord keeps revealing his secrets to those who are diligent about studying the word. Don't be a person who settles for building your spiritual life on someone else's understanding of the scriptures. Study the scriptures yourself. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide and encourage you through them. Let the truth and power of God's word bless your life. You know, I just want to look real quick at this scripture um, over in Psalm 119 in the New King James. I want to see how it's phrased. This is, of course, uh, she Joyce always uses the Amplified for the most part. And so um, I want to see here. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments I have laid before me. Okay. And then her version says, The unfolding of your glorious words give light. Their unfolding gives understanding to the simple or the childlike. You know, I really liked some of the points that Joyce made in this devotion um, because I've experienced it so in, uh, so distinctly in my life and in my years of studying the Word of God where I will come to a scripture and read it and the Holy Spirit will... And it'll be a scripture I may have read tens of times, even hundreds of times. And it'll come forth and all of a sudden, 
I'll have a new awareness of what's being said. And I liked that she said, every time we look at it, we see a new facet. You know, that is just like God's character and his nature. When we look into the word and we see God, we see a new facet, a new character of him and what he is to us. And we can also see that in our, our own lives, in different seasons of our lives, we'll see a new side of God's nature, a new facet of who he is. So when you go into the word of God, just realize that the Holy Spirit is a fountain and, and, and it's a never ending fountain of information, of knowledge, of understanding, of wisdom. And as he unfolds his wisdom, you will see new and tremendous realizations, epiphanies about who God our Father is, about his nature, his character, his love, his compassion, his just, his just nature, his forgiveness, his mercy, but also his righteous judgment, his anger, his righteous anger, his holiness. There is so much about our Lord and we need to study it out for ourselves. Just like Joyce says here, don't rely upon what you learn from me. Take or from what you learn from your pastor or from what you learn from other pastors or other teachers or brothers and sisters in Christ that you have possibly got home groups with. Rely upon your own information from God. Know that God has something greater for you than just receiving what you receive from someone else. The Holy Spirit has something personal for you. He has something greater for you that's specifically tailored to your situation, to your life, to your personality, to your need, to your relationship with Him that He may never show me. And that thing he shows you will be something that you can in, impart into someone else. We all, I've always said this, um, we all receive different pieces of the puzzle. Nobody has the whole picture, none of us as believers, but we can grow and grow and grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? But I think that as long as we live in this fallible flesh of ours, we are never going to completely have the whole picture. And I think that each one of us is given different pieces of the puzzle. And we come together and we teach one another. We help one another. We minister to one another. You know, I, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful picture of what God does through his children as we learn about him, as we study his word as we read his word and let him impart that wisdom into us individually that then we can go share with others. And it's just a wonderful full circle of what God is doing in the family of Christ. And I encourage each one of you to read your Bible, to study it, and to meditate on it and ponder it. Because pondering the word of God is like chewing on something and it nourishes you and it gets deep down inside of you. And that's something that all of us can do. That's something that all of us should be doing, myself included, is to meditate upon what we are seeing in the Word of God and let the Holy Spirit really teach us throughout our day to think about that scripture, to take a moment and write it down and, and read it a few times over and over again, to, to just ponder it and let the Holy Spirit reveal new things to you and let it, like I said, grow deep, those seeds that, of the word that they would go deep into your heart and that and the enemy would never be able to steal them because they would become a part of who you are. They would become a part of your nature, a part of your perception of this world, seeing the world through God's eyes instead of your own. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we study and meditate on your word 
and continue, please continue to unfold its treasures to each one of us. Lord, I pray that you would give each of us a deep desire to study, to read, to meditate, and to learn from your word. I pray, Father God, that you would protect every seed that is planted in our hearts, that the enemy would never be allowed to steal them, that life and the busyness of life would never be able to steal them, that, Lord God, they would change us and grow us to become more like Christ and to understand and to know you better. I pray this blessing over each one of my sisters today. I give you glory and praise and honor, Father, for you are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, have a wonderful, blessed day. I love you very, very much. And thank you for all your prayers. I hope that you have a wonderful Friday. And be blessed in all that you do for this weekend, okay? Be safe. Thank you for being with me. I love you. Bye-bye.